Yeah. Yes. Um, following those surgeries, we've had those corrections with long level fusions. Um, how much movement are you expecting, and how much discomfort are you expecting if they try to go into those movements? Well, discomfort immediately or discomfort long term? Kind of <clears throat> so immediately, a lot. Long term, really not that much. Now, obviously, there's not going to be, well, hopefully, there's not going to be motion where we've done that fusion. So while we gain better alignment, the trade-off is we take away motion through those segments. So that is the trade-off. But once they're aligned better, their function obviously improves. And particularly for the long fusions, they're getting the rest of their motion through their, their cervical spine and their shoulders. So they're not getting, they're losing the rotation through the thoracic spine. So they do have some limitations. And obviously, they're losing the flexibility forward, backwards, flexion extension through the lumbar spine. So there are you know, adaptations. There are some limitations. Um, but in general, most of these patients, I have no restrictions for them. Uh, I have a patient who I just saw a couple weeks ago who's now about a year and a half after a long fusion scoliosis. She's hiking. She's walking. She's a, actually a university professor. She's full-time back at work and, and no limitations. Yeah. Yes.